Good as new. <laughs> like I told you, though, it was just a scratch. Nothing to fuss over. <laughs> Nothing to fuss over? It didn't look like that. You were hurting. I was caught off guard. I turned to see the portal everyone left out of, and the next thing I know, Zane struck me. I was able to avoid the full impact of his blade, but... Well, obviously not entirely. Next thing I knew, I was here, and then you showed up out of nowhere. At least you're healed now. Thank you, but it seems like time is starting to move. I know. Garth, don't worry. It's only been a few months in the overworld. We're still looking for answers, and I honestly think we're really close. Just hang on, and I promise we'll get you out of the Irene Dimension before your fight with Zane continues. You won't be alone to face him. No! Well, I suppose that's our cue. Give your guards my best. They better be taking care of you. I will. And don't worry. We are coming for you. I promise. <laughs> Do I look worried? She's fast asleep. Do you want to talk about it? Hey, that's my line. What? It's a joke. Huh? I'm trying to make you smile. You didn't say anything, and I... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I get it. I'm sorry, Aaron. I just... I've just got a lot on my mind. That's all. Don't hide it from me. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> you frantically asked Caitlin about, about Emmeline and Kenmer's progress shortly after waking up. The song you were singing to Lilith in the morning wasn't as soft as it usually is. And even though you are trying to keep that smile on around everyone else in the village... I can tell you are forcing to keep your composure. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Which is why I wanted to bring you and Lilith out here alone, in the woods to talk to you. You obviously don't want the others to know about this, or else you have said something to Lawrence sooner. <laughs> what happened when you saw Garth? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw your body vanish and reappear as you slept. Do you forget we're temporarily sharing the same room with Lilith? It's... <sighs> Something bad happened. Am I right? Aaron, please, stop. You are going to break down if you don't talk to someone about this. That's because you're... What's with you? Why are you talking to me about this? I'm concerned about you. You've been a lord long enough to know that trusting those around you is important. I'm... I'm just not ready to talk to anyone else about this yet until I know more about what we can do for him. I don't want to worry anyone else. Everyone has been so busy getting the village set up and exploring the island for more ruins, and training to fight off a possible invasion of war, taking turns patrolling. The, it just. My duty as lord is to make sure that they are taken care of. And my duty as your lord is to make sure you are taken care of. But. Did, did you say. Lord? Darn it. I, I'm sorry. N what was that? 
I don't know what I am to you. Listening to you talk about Lord Responsibilities just got me... <laughs> you are very close to me, Aaron. Just tell me, please. You don't have to carry the burden alone, nor should you, for your own sanity. He was hurt. Gareth. When I saw him in my dreams, I... At first, I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't reach him. I could just see him, and it hurt. And it hurt so much to see him like that. But... But then I... I could touch him, and I, I managed to heal him. What, what happened? Zane... Managed to strike at him, and Gareth had barely dodged, and... I managed to heal Gareth with my power, but still, I want to be there to fight with him. If that happened, then time there is very slowly starting to move as time passes here. Aaron, what if we can't get him out of there? Aphmau. What if we never find a way to get Gareth back? I... I don't know what I'd do. He was my guard, my friend, and I can't leave him there, and every day we don't make progress just makes me, and I can't. <sighs> I promised you we would get him out of there. I will keep my promise, no matter what. We will get him out of there. From one lord to another, I know how you feel about Gareth. Trust me. I know it hurts, and I understand why you want to hide it from your village and your guards. But I know that look all too well. Trying to hide something for the sake of causing less panic? This is something you shouldn't deal with alone. You have Lawrence, Caitlin, and Travis. They should know about this. <sighs> I'm sorry. You're right. I don't know what came over me. Stress? Fear? Panic? Even great lords let these things get to them from time to time. Don't blame yourself. We're just human. I just... didn't want to make anyone worry. Especially after what Lawrence said the other day, and... he and I were... Lawrence, we were very close to Gareth. Aaron, can I ask you about your guards? What were they like? It's okay if you... If you don't want to talk about this, we don't have to. My father had passed away when I was a teenager. I... I became Lord almost immediately after, and forced to grow up faster than anyone else my age because of it. Many guards served Falconclaw. However, I always had three main guards who I depended on. My head guard was my father's former head guard, who helped me learn how to be a Lord and trained me in combat. The second and third in command were two friends of mine since childhood. Lily? <laughs> no, she... She was the daughter of my head guard. Wow. It sounds like you were really close with everyone in your village. I was. Then in a flash, I lost them all. <laughs> everyone. Aaron, just tell me, please. You don't have to carry the burden alone, nor should you, for your own sanity. I hate eating my own advice. 
Even great lords let these things get to them from time to time. <laughs> I... After that, I lost all feelings. I went completely numb. There was nothing for me to look forward to. I was empty. Broken. I solved everything with my blade. Every confrontation. I became weak in that regard. But you're still here and still going. You aren't weak. Aaron, if... I suddenly... Lost everyone... In my village. Garth... Lawrence... Eleven, Malachi, Caitlin, just everyone. I don't know. I don't know how I'd continue. I, I couldn't do it. Knowing I lost everyone, I honestly don't know how you do it. True, you're not completely open, but you're here. I, I never thought I'd care about someone again. I've never lost someone so close to me. And if I do, if I lost someone, I, <laughs> I... I don't know. I mean, I know... I know it can always happen given the state of our world. Which is why I need to find a way to get Garth out. I can't lose anyone. Compared to what you've gone through, I know that's selfish to say, but I... It's okay. I understand. We are lords. We care about everyone. That's what we do. That is what we dedicate our lives to. Thank you. For opening up to me. I know it's really hard, and I... I don't find it hard to open up to you. <laughs> then I'm glad. Thank you. For allowing me into your life. Do you even think before you talk? You don't have to thank me for that. You've already helped us so much. Right. Sorry. <sighs> she's over here! Huh? Uh... No, she's this way! Uh, those voices... Stop barking at me, brat! You're going the wrong way! Yep. Ha! Found her! Who are you calling a brat again? I was already here! Nuh-uh! Yeah, huh? Hey! Uh, stop fighting now. You'll wake the baby. Y yes, sir! Yes, sir. Uh, yep, Leona. What are you guys doing out here? Oh! Emmeline and Kenmer sent us! They found something interesting, or whatever, and wanted the best werewolf, <coughs> me, <coughs> to track you down and let you know about it. Uh, yep, and now that I've found you, Athmau, you should go see Emlyn and Kenmer. They're ready for you. Uh, stop trying to take credit. Uh, stop trying to take my jobs. You know they asked me. Uh, what did I just say? I... Eep. Aaron... Uh, will you come with me? Of course. This might be the answer we need to get Garth out of the Irene dimension. Mm. Right. Let's take Lilith, Zoe, and Isabel, and then we'll head out. Right. <laughs> <laughs>